What is up YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. And today in this video, I got a special treat. I'm back at it again with another video. But in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do line art in Adobe Illustrator. How to make your anime pieces of art look amazing. How from going from a sketched piece of art to a nice crisp piece of art with really nice fine black lines. And we're gonna jump into it with the first things first is by creating a brush. That is the most important thing when it comes to making your line art when you want it to look like this out of your sketching phase just to make it look really crisp before you start coloring it in and stuff like that. But let's jump into it. So the very first thing that you want to do is you want to pull out your ellipse tool, which is L on your keyboard and make a very, very small ellipse, a very small circle. And um, this is what your line is going to be. But you really want to make it very small and very fine and very good looking on the edges where it's very sharp and pointy, almost kind of like an arrow where in the middle there is a bit of a, a little bit of girth for the line to pull through. And then after that, what you're going to want to do on top of your toolbars on the top of the screen, there's a little pull tab to open up your brush menu. You want to click the plus symbol in that menu and then you want to click on art brush in that other menu that pops up. Click OK. Then another menu is going to pop up. You can just ignore this one and just click OK as well. Helps you speed it through. And then pretty much boom, your perfect brush for drawing anime is pretty much done. Now what I always do is I always change the sizes of it because I don't want to uh, play with the scroll wheel or size wheel because sometimes it can be very inaccurate. I can pick a sized brush that I'm not trying to pick. Usually it's always in between 0.5 through 3 and the reason why I have this on the side is because I can quickly click on each individual one to get the correct size that I'm looking for and I'm able to differentiate which parts of the body has more bolded lines versus which parts of the body has more fine lines. But let's jump into the drawing process. So whenever I'm doing my line work for my anime, um, one thing you always want to do is you want to make sure you have very long strokes with your drawing. You don't want to do little small sketching strokes. You want to have them to be pretty much even, uniform, nice, good, strong, solid, long lines and it takes practice uh, do not fret it's Adobe Illustrator all you got to do is you know undo something that might not look right to you very quick and simple nothing to worry about the second thing that I do when I'm doing my first initial line work right here is that I'm I overlap almost everything you can see right here with the the chin line and her neck lines uh, the lines are overlapping it's a very old technique that I do but it makes things very clean and uniform when it comes to the end of the entire project um, it's a pathfinder type of thing you have to expand all the lines and then you go into pathfinder then divide and then you go in and then you delete all the little cat's tails is what people call it cat's tails that's hanging out the end of the whatever the corner whatever you want to call it and um, pretty much that's it. That's how you clean it up to getting it to one of the best, sharpest looking cleanups you can possibly get in a vector software like Adobe Illustrator. And um, that's pretty much it when it comes to setting up your character for all of the line work. Uh, you just want to plug away at it and, you know, take your time. Do not rush yourself when plugging away at each individual line. Do not forget to change the size of certain brushes and stuff like that when you're creating because um, it just helps show more emphasis on certain body parts. For example, I made her chin line very big and bolded. I use size three for this, uh, her, her chin. And then for her neck, I use size two. And then for uh, certain parts of her hair, uh, majority of it was size one, but for the bottom section or here and there was size two. And you just wanna plug away at it and um, just keep on running with it. Make sure you're taking those really long, big strokes that I was talking about earlier because it helps everything stay uniform. Um, if you do not think you have a very solid hand, uh, if you think you have a very shaky hand when doing something, Adobe Illustrator does have handicaps built into the software. All you got to do is uh, double click or triple click the brush button in your essentials toolbar and it will open up a uh, menu that will allow you to adjust how much you want your brush stroke to be smooth versus soft uh, when you're going through. So pretty much when you click smooth, uh, whatever you do makes the, the brush look more smooth, more straightened. Uh, it's not going to be all lumpy and stuff. It's going to be more streamlined, you know, and um, that's pretty much it when it comes to that part. And so pretty much to wrap up this video, as you see here, I'm now doing the part I mentioned earlier with the uh, expand object pathfinder and divide everything. I'm not cleaning up all the ends that were left out. 
and like i said earlier this really does help out when it comes to speed and accuracy and making sure your, line, your lines stay very nice and sharp the reason why i do this is because if i were to use a traditional calligraphy pressure brush and then i start to plug away at it uh, a lot of the lines can become distorted and misshaped when you use the eraser tool or if you divide it improperly and it's a longer process in my eyes this process is a lot faster to me i can bang out an entire image in like two minutes no time at all it's really quick and real fast a little tedious just because you have to click here click there but it's adobe illustrator if you mess up all you gotta do is you know undo redo doesn't matter um and uh, let's switch up things a little bit to talk about other stuff. Um, so I mentioned this in my previous video that I'm trying to change up the way how I do things. I'm trying to take my initial Annie Monday images that I do on Monday and I'm trying to break them down into sections. Uh, usually my videos would be, uh, I would go through certain phases and then at the end of the video it would be a speed art doing the whole entire completion thing but I'm deciding to chop all of that up. So like the first part would be like the sketching and stuff like that then maybe on Wednesday I could throw out what I'm doing right now, the line art phase or whatever. Uh, usually it was what I call it whatever Wednesday and then maybe you know Friday or Saturday I can do the coloring and then maybe at the end of all of that I could throw it all together and just make it into a speed art after having everything broken down but let me know what you guys think about that I really do want your guys's feedback about how I'm trying to do my new process it's not too crazy or too different I'm pretty much just chopping things up into sections just so I know that um, I can have more content down the way and uh, of course I'm gonna be also doing other things here and there uh, you know as usual as typical diamond style as what it used to be what it is now um, it's just what I'm trying to shoot for but that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think about this video make sure you guys rate comment subscribe your boy diamonds here at common sense graphics your boy out